humbled by the Bedman hitbox he's got there. He's been playing Faust for about two months, um, but yep, he, yep. he's wound up here in top eight of winners as that Faust, so he's a very strong Faust player now yeah, well, um, yeah, already. We definitely, we definitely saw him up here on, on stream earlier, and he, he was looking He was looking pretty good. Yeah, he managed to beat uh, White Beast, um, very strong player, um, yeah. very strong Melia, so he puts himself into this top eight. Um, yeah, we, and we will be seeing White Beast later. Of course, yeah, he losers. is on the loser side. Um, not on the other side for me, so I don't have to fight him. Thank goodness. <laughs> but instead, you, you, you've got instead, to instead I get to fight Gekio, who is uh, kind of a Chicago local. So yeah. whoever loses, we'll just see each other in a week and run it back. <laughs> so yeah, right. we'll trade medals then if need. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it, instead of a money match, it, it's, it's a match to try, try to reclaim the medal. Yeah, it's it's, a, it's like a money match, but it's like metal into a bag of popcorn. We trade back and forth. <laughs> so I like it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> So again, we got Faust versus uh, Leo. Now of course, again, Leo not great movement, but Faust doesn't necessarily have the amazing zoning that Venom does with the projectiles. He doesn't have the ball set and get that set play going. Instead, yeah. he throws out items, and those items can be completely random. We call it a gotcha toss, right? <laughs> yep. So depending on what item he throws out, it could be really good against Leo, or it could be completely useless. Like if Faust throws out a black hole, which just sucks both characters together, it's terrible because now he's just entered Leo's range against his will. For sure, for sure. And, and and it's like it's not like it's not like Faust doesn't have like Faust has fantastic neutral, but uh, but once it, you it, get it, in this range, it's like Faust has slow buttons. So once he's yeah. dealing in that range, it's kind of Leo's turn, right? Yeah, Drifter Dane look at, look, looking pretty comfortable, yeah. though. Yeah, I mean, Dane's just kind of going for onesie, twosie hits here and there. Ooh, the mini Faust catches him, gets the confirmed, doesn't knock him down, though. Instead of resets, oh, it gets 2K'd, has to jump over because that mini Faust, though, saves him again. Got 6 speed for his troubles. Oh, the 2H Ooh. gets caught out by the 6H. It's big damage. Now, you see, he goes for that He goes for that 6 PH OS on Wake Up because it's a very strong OS. Gotcha, gotcha. Good throw. Uh, probably OSing on that mix-up. Looks like looks like Riven was actually going for flash kick there. He got hit by the low. Maybe he, uh, he screwed up the flash kick input. Blocks the item and overhead. Ooh. Strong first round from Dane. Just onesie twosie hits, neutraling him out, doing a little bit of damage at a time, and not letting Riven get early started. That foul six H. It, lo it looks so slow, but everyone gets, gets hit sooner or later. It's slow. It's about twenty five frames, I think. But the real issue is that he just does it from such a far range out. You're thinking he's gonna like, oh, he's gonna like two D or two H or something. Yeah, yeah. You don't look for it. You get smacked. So you know. Ooh, big hit on the counter hit 5H. And the fi back turn P goes through the wake up 6P. This is rough. Le Le Leo's got Good all that 5D. Ooh. 5D to get through that. That is a reversal from Faust. Low. Oh, I don't like that. He's getting onto the. He's done that again and it's got bottom twice. Cross up. That's going to be round here. Oh, now, absolutely. I like that. So Riven actually represented back turn punch against uh, Faust on wake up mm -hmm. because he knew Dane was going to go for the 6PH um, OS. That doesn't work because Leo's back turn P anti-airs the <laughs> 6P and his throw involved. So he just wins. So Dane didn't do that again the next time. Like Dane realized good 5D again. Yeah, for sure. And I'm, I, it's interesting that he's still trying the 5D so much because earlier... Um, Riven actually called it out really hard. He had, he, he got a big um, five, 5S counter hit because, because of it. Right. I mean, 5D is one of those things where it's like, if it works, great. You end their turn, and it's a great reversal option. If it doesn't work, you die. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, big giant meteors coming out here. 6H. Riven's too, Riven's too worried about the giant meteor. Got caught by the overhead. you going to take all that damage. Hammer coming oh, out, no. saving him with the anti-air hammer. Gold hammer, too. Now there's just this item on the field. I hope you're down backing. Yes. You have to suspect that. Now, he's got all this meter, though, and he's in the air. Oh, blew himself up what? with a bomb. He didn't know he threw out a bomb because <laughs> he was so high up in the air and actually blew, ran into it. Dude, Faust, Faust is wonderful. All right. Wire oh, sees yeah. to save himself. Good 6P. Oh, has to burst, but Mini Faust is there. Going to have to block it. Throws another item. This oh, no. He's going to have to He's gonna have to guess. Oh Blocks God. the overhead. Not the second one. He's got enough meter. This is going to be enough. And the OTG, no. Be, gets yes. the actual pickup. Nice. Very, Very nice. close, close first game there, though. That, Dane looking a little bit flustered. Yeah, that that, that, that was really clutch there. Mm -hmm. That was, you know, he he was down to chip range, and uh, Captain Riven pulling that first game out. Th th this is the kind of stuff we want to see in top eight. Right, though. we want to see these close matches. We don't want to see a uh, run back. So Dane going back to character select, going to think his way through it. He's, mm -hmm. he's known for this. He's known for going back to character select and just thinking yeah. and just, like, just going over his matches. Um 
Looks like he's still sticking with Faust, but he's making mm -hmm. his time on it. He's really thinking, what do I'm doing wrong? What do I need to adjust? Because that yeah. was a close game. He can absolutely still win this. Yeah, er er earlier we did see him hover over a Bud Man, but mm -hmm. not this time. He knows who he... Yeah. He's and committed like, to the character. Who knows? Maybe he's just like, hover over Bedman, psych out my opponent. Do I have to <laughs> fight Bedman? Do I, how do I have to change this matchup? And then, no, I'm still fighting Faust. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I just sure. wasted my time thinking about what I need to do next. Yeah, that's a good point for sure. Nice good. 6P counter. Yeah, I like all those IBs and went for the 6P. Item item on the ground. Because that item, whenever those donuts are on the ground or food or whatever, Faust can't throw another item until it gets picked up. So yeah. it's actually, it's kind of a double-edged sword for Faust throwing out those uh -huh. items. He really never wants to see the food. Bomb on field. Both characters are just going to avoid it for a bit. Throw out another bomb. Avoid it for a bit. Throw out another bomb. Both characters are going to avoid it for a bit. <laughs> oh, actually blows himself up. He thought he was out of range, Ooh. but Riven managed to scroll the screen back far enough that he had to block. Now Dane burns the meter for the dead angle. Going to get another bomb here. Going to jump out. Oh, actually saves him from his own bomb. Yeah, you know, um, Cat... Uh, Riven being, a, being aware that Drifter Dane is newer to Oh, Faust. that big counter hit on the super, Ooh. but the combo drop because of Faust's odd hitbox. Wasn't ready for Okizeme. Gets wake up thrown. Here comes Mini Faust down on the field. Oh, he keeps going for that. Baits the burst. That is this going to be enough? I'm not sure. He's going to have to get blocked once. No, gets caught. 5K. Yeah, Dane just keeps on, he keeps on getting on that pogo and trying to go for a charge. Uh, flower and Riven's killing him for it. He needs to stop going for that. He needs to go for either the punch follow up, the forward, something to stop him for it. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Uh, Riven's just gonna. No, uh, you see, him every you time. see what it's worth. Like if it works <laughs> out, if they get that counter, you could get a huge confirm there. But like, is it worth it? Is it worth giving Leo a chance? Because that happens yeah. if he just throws a fireball and wire sees every you time that. Every single time he he, he he sees that, we see the the S boom coming out. Ooh. Overhead, overhead, burst oh, super. Dead. Yeah, you're just dead, man. He's dead. You're dead, man. You're not bad, man. Oh. You're dead, man. He's sleeping. <laughs>